Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the K1 lightweight title match in Fukuoka Hokka Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. So this is uh, K1 lightweight, 62.5 kg between Koya Urabe and Fumiya Osawa. This is like... This is like the fourth time for these guys to fight. They have, yes, for <laughs> before. Um, Urabe's got, probably got, got more wins out of those past three fights. No! Yeah, so they fought and then he won. <laughs> then they fought again. <laughs> and then there was a bit of a, a trickiness going on. They were clinching and yes. at the end of the clinch, he got knocked out. Uh, also. And uh, there was a lot of controversy out there. And so he lost as a, as a foul fight. Mm. And then they fought again. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and that last time they fought, again, Urabe wins. And so this is like the fourth time for, for Fumiya Osawa to get his chance at, at beating this, uh, you know, rival for so many years. There you go, yeah. And I do believe um, Osawa kind of has that respect for, you know, this, uh, for Urabe in terms of... <laughs> As a as a contemporary guy in the same weight class, you know. but yeah, here they are in their fourth uh, match over the years. I would not want to fight the same guy four times. <laughs> <laughs> but why why is that, Nick? Is that what's the biggest reason? Because once you you fought, you you win or lose, you know, that's it. You want to move on. Or? Well, if you lose to someone, obviously you want to try and go back and yeah. them the next time. But if you've already beaten someone, there's no point in going back. Because <laughs> you won. <laughs> yeah, you won. Well, maybe Udabi just wants another one. That's why you took this on. And you know, really been, you got, a, got a couple of champion belts. Well, to give you guys there. a bit of, uh, you know, um, perspective on Udabi as a fighter. He's the former Super Feather and Lightweight Champion of K1. Mm -hmm. So he's had two belts in two different weight classes. And now he's in the Lightweight division, and obviously he's hunting for another belt. Yeah, a belt hunter. Yeah. Very technically uh, uh, gifted. Mm. Lots of experience. And good looks too for the full Why not? Both fighting <laughs> it's uh, salad. I'm not sure this jumping on the dancing style is actually going to be good. is going exactly where he wants it. ハイトップ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウィッチ。ウ
Uh, but, you know, Dub is like, should have got nothing to prove because he's already beaten him, you know, so many other times. Mm. Oh, okay. No, it's a slippery match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was just Oh, that was yeah. a good kick. Nick and speed in this game. Interesting. Man, he doesn't feel comfortable in the corner, that's for sure. <laughs> nope. Who's leading in your opinion now? Mm. In the, in so far, like it's not really like a definite like lead or anything. It's just two different styles clashing. Uh, um, I preferably, I mean, just personally, I prefer dub style fighting. Yeah, it's just more clean, simple, straight to the point. Not so flashy. You know, also seems to be a bit of a wild man here. A lot of you know. Flashy moves, yeah. big, big punches, big kicks. But when you see Udabe, he's just like super comical, like with, you know, great defense. So. Yeah, right. No, I mean, it doesn't seem to see what, you know, whatever comes here, will kind of deal with it. So, is, also, I kind of. But you, and you think that, that jumping around isn't... Well, it's not really doing it. It's not really helping him. I mean, that was just silly what he's doing now. Yeah. Oh, I'm dangerous too. Yeah. Yeah, he's also super predictable though, because you know he's going to go straight for those straight punches mm -hmm. to the kicks or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I guess also I was trying to like get him to, you know, break character sometimes. Right. But it's not going to happen. Okay, let's do over 20 seconds left in round two. Yeah, that's uh, oh, yeah, this round. More clearly, clearly took this round. Yep. Nice. And there's Ralph Horn. Yeah. That would be a 10 9 for me. Two it up. <coughs> yeah, you've got a good nation. Fighting some guy. No, but he had him exactly where he wanted him. Totally controlling the ring, totally controlling the fight, and uh, even the pace of it. He's never in trouble. Yeah. What's your definition of all the champion? What, what, what do the champions have in common when you've seen you know? Champions? <laughs> of, yeah, of those people, like of, of people who, who make it to the top, like, you know, and they have, have stopped down. Uh, years of dedication, and then they've got a really good understanding of the the game play in the fight. Right. Most of the guys that actually Second stay up the top there. Second they hit a little bit harder or they're a little bit faster or they're a little bit better at something. Okay. The rest right, of them. Right, a little bit right. sneakier somehow. Yeah. There's that extra bit, that extra mile up here. Yeah. Round three. And it's round three in the row versus this lightweight precision there from Urabe. Ooh, interesting start there. Actually, I wonder what his coach told him also. Because he's completely changed his game plan up here. Look, I gotta tell you though, this is absolutely exactly what Udabi wants him to do. He's just gonna pick him apart now. Look at that. Give me a Udabi again here. What's also uh, doing different and, and is it working or not? That was a good punch actually. Yeah. See how he opened up by moving around and trying to find that way to land some yeah. big bomb like yeah. that? 
Oh, no, he's just technically at a, at a, at a different level. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he didn't see that coming. Oh, he was clearly taking control of the fight again. See, every time he packs up, he gets one for it. Oh, my God. Can also still prove himself? No, I don't think so. I just I think this is too much experience here. Yeah. You know, and he's just he knows exactly that there's one more minute left in the fight here. Yeah. Dub is gonna put a little bit of extra pressure on him, you know. Uh, unless they bang it out and you know something absolutely crazy happens. This is just gonna go straight to the decision. Yeah, we'll start it. Oh, he knows it, right? So it's like that frustration of like, you know, knowing you're running out of time. <laughs> But as you said, you know, oh, the oh, the get out of it. Just one, one notch. Uh, one step ahead, I guess. And uh, here we go. Time's up. That's Smart. It. Very well played. Yeah, very well played, I'd say. <laughs> what, what do you give? Ah, uh, uh, 30 to Udabe. With Nick, Pretty close to what you said, Nick. Uh, and the winner there is clearly uh, Koya Urabe. Yeah, I mean, but see, it's like the story is not as interesting for either of these two fighters, you know? Yeah. It's just, he just will never get him, unfortunately. It must mm. be super frustrating for, for him to, to just be in that position. Yeah. Obviously, there is that something that, you know, Osawa can't do or, or hasn't done. But I mean, make the Udabe also has to say yes to these fights, you know, mm -hmm. so, I mean, you gotta take your hat off for that. Yeah. Giving the other guy the opportunities. There's some of the replay from that, from this uh, K1 lightweight match there. Trophy there, looking happy, but also, like you said before, not not much sweat. Um, <laughs> looks of you know, I mean, yes, yes, a little, but. Cool. Oh, I mean, you're always you're always going to be happy for winning for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that's important, but I mean, it's not as as exciting a story for him to be in as the first time they fought for example. Sure, sure, sure. Well, that was the fourth uh, match that they've had uh, between Koya Urabe and uh, Fumiya Osawa. And walking out of the ring as the winner is Koya Urabe. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Rugby 2021 Fukuoka Hokusai Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.